artists. Today we're going to create a grid. And in order to create a grid, you need a pencil, a ruler, and you need your painting paper, the paper that you're going to paint on. I'm choosing a nice, thick, nine by 12 inch piece of paper. And if you could get a nine by 12 inch piece of paper, it would be really helpful because then you could follow along exactly. It's okay if it comes out of your sketchbook, um, but choose your final piece of paper. We don't usually start with a final one, but we're jumping right in today. And you do need a ruler with actual measurements on it. This isn't just for straight lines. We are going to be using it. So basically, I'm going to start on the bottom. I'm going to line up my ruler with the bottom. And I am going to make a mark every inch along the bottom. So I'm putting a little dot right by the one, a little dot right by the two with my pencil, by the three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and the 11, and the 12 I'll leave because it's the edge of the paper. You can do this again at the top if you want. Sometimes I just flip my paper around because for some reason it's more comfortable for me to do at the bottom. But you do need to do it at the top and the bottom. That is so important. So same thing. One, two, three, four. Just making tiny dots. You probably can't even see them. Right exactly on the one inch mark using my ruler. And now we're going to connect the dots. So line up your ruler with the dot on one side. Line it up with the dot on the other side. And as lightly as you can, because we're going to erase these later, draw a line. Same thing here and there, top and bottom. Super light with your pencil. You should barely be able to see the lines I'm drawing. And you do this all the way across. This would be a great time now to have one of those time lapse features, but I don't, so I'm just going to go super duper fast. You can pause the video to get caught up if you want. And you're basically going to create lines all the way across your paper. Then we have to do the same thing to the left and right sides. But the left and right sides are only nine inches, so we won't need quite as many lines. So same thing. Find where it's comfortable for you. Line up your ruler along the edge. My ruler has a zero that doesn't start at the end, so I'm being really, really careful to line up my zero with the end of the paper. And make a mark at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine should be lined up with the end. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to do it by flipping my paper around. And you just make a tiny, light little dot. Make sure the edge of the paper is lined up with the zero at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what we're doing is we're basically creating grid or graph paper. But artists do this all the time. This is a grid method. We've done it before with pre-made grids, but this is the first time you're making your own grid. What I'm doing now is I'm lining up my ruler with the top and the bottom. You have to be really, really careful. Make sure it's lined up with the top and the bottom as lightly as you can, but pressing against that ruler to get a nice straight line. You're going to continue your grid until you've gridded out the entire surface. And yes, we are going to be painting these, but I'm not going to tape it to the board yet. So please, please, please hang tight. Don't do any taping yet. We are going to need to get our animal photo and we are going to be gridding that out as well. So at the end of this lesson, you should have a very light pencil grid on the nine by 12 inch piece of paper that you are going to be working with. Thanks.